in my previous videos I've showed that um, loads of tall structures are actually atmospheric electrical masts um, but that includes a lot of the structures that you think are old historical relics like you know very very tall cathedral spires like this one so if you'll notice it's like this old cathedral spire but it has these metal handholds for going up for maintenance work and there's a kind of copper you see that ring around it of copper or look like copper to me and there's wires running up it so this is the tallest cathedral spire in the UK um, and if you look at what see these copper bands running up near the top they go kind of bluey from being oxidized So what's at the top of this spire? Oh look, lots of electrical equipment. And lots of metalwork, copper metalwork. See it's that same colour as the uh, Statue of Liberty. Also made of copper. Also an electrical mast. So there we go, it's the tallest structure in the area and it's an electrical mast. Wow, look and at that is based view. that combination is basically the describes the tallest it, structures near every population centre, whatever they are. Amazing. So yeah, it looks like a religious building, but you know, so happens this religion, like all the other religions, loves to build structures to worship in that reach up very high into the sky I mean it's not really a, you think of it as like a given of um, religions that that's the case but why is it the case see this guy's going up to do a bit of maintenance work uh, I think this is Zagreb Yes, Zagreb Cathedral, and he, if you look in there, doing some work on their electrical equipment, which is installed at the top of their cathedral. <laughs> so, there you go. You see the priest class, whoever they are, you know, whichever country you're in, the priest class, they all know about, the, <laughs> they're the ones who are basically guarding this stuff. Uh, keep it maintained and providing the uh, electricity they're just you know guarding the supply regulators so there's kind of elect electricity gangster regulators um, not the kind of high-minded men of the cloth <laughs> that perhaps you might we might have thought I'd be touching cloth if I was up there, I tell you, I can't handle heights like that. Anyway, you know, I mean, there's loads of, I mean, you, there's so many examples, there's countless examples because there are countless population centres and countless religious buildings that go very high into the air that have lightning conductors at the top that are electrical masts so yeah, this this is um, I think this is the tallest cathedral in Europe or maybe in the world I can't remember which one this is <laughs> I might add it in the subtitles um, so there's a, like a, some metal work at the top then you can see cables coming down from it you can see a cable there there's one run, there's multiple cables coming down from the top. <laughs> so why are there cables coming down from the top? And why is there loads of metal work at the very, very top? It's the same thing again. So, um, 
So, I mean, you know, if you look around, uh, you can see in the reality around you, look at these tall spires or minarets or whatever your local flavour of religious monument is, and, um, and then you'll know what you're dealing with. Electrical fraudsters, not um, god-botherers, just frauds. In this one, they're about to um, pimp out a cathedral which has been there for a while, but they decided to add this massive spire thing to it, inexplicably. Look at that. It's basically a huge cap made of what looks like copper. So a massive uh, electrical attractor to add to the top of their spire. So it's not really, once you start examining their structures and what they do, spend their time doing, you start to realise it's, it's um, not really subtle. <laughs> it's just they relied on nobody paying any attention to what they were actually, to why they were building their structures tall, what these lightning rods were all about, why they kept putting metallic, especially golden and copper objects at the top points of these uh, towers, they just hoped everyone would just be like, oh, that's just God people. That's just their thing. They're just doing their thing. That's just the people who are close to the, close to God and they just know what he wants in terms of building design. So there we go, all pimped out. Now, if you don't believe me um, about the importance of monitoring these spires and the amount of uh, complex high-tech equipment that is related to these spires, then have a listen to uh, this dude who runs like the Milan, uh, I don't know, cathedral ship. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, have a look. Duomo is uh, the most important uh, monument we have in Milan and in 2010 they started restoring the main spire. Mm. The main spire is on top of the Duomo and on top of the spire we have uh, the statue of Virgin Mary which is protecting the city, that's why it's such an important symbol for us. This is a complex operation and that's the reason why uh, the experts taking care of the church uh, asked us uh, to have a continuous monitoring on a 24-7 base to check both the spire and the scaffolding. We, we have a, a serial uh, acquiring data from the spire and the scaffolding because it's very robust and uh, uh, the software must be able to generate an eventual alarm at all times. My choice was for uh, software and hardware from uh, National Instruments uh, for a number of reasons. It's a complex balance between uh, ease of use, costs, uh, integration between hardware and software. And above all, I think that uh, every time I have a problem, this problem immediately becomes the problem of a group of people, NI Italy or corporate, and they help you all over the world.